everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10, Peruvian mummy. In Peru, archeologists found the mummified remains of a man. This in itself wouldn't be that out of the ordinary, except for the fact that he was discovered in the fetal position and bound with rope. He was curled over himself, his hands collapsed together and covering his face, an ancient rope still tied tightly around his bones and shriveled skin. Forget Egyptian mummies, this is one of the creepiest and most disturbing mummies ever found. The team of archaeologists from the National University of San Marcos have dated him back to sometime between 800 and 1200 years ago. Researchers say he was less than 35 years old when he died, and probably someone of very high status in the community. He was alive before the Inca civilization ever existed, before men from the West ever reached Peru. But why was he buried in such a bizarre way? That's the real question here. It probably had something to do with a ritual. It helps to know that the man was found in Cajamarquilla, an ancient archaeological site and one of the biggest in South America. It's nothing but a ruin now, but was once filled with ceremonial plazas where the locals often performed human sacrifice. It's likely that this man was killed in the town square and then placed into a funeral chamber. He was buried alongside others who had been sacrificed. But as to the reason why this man was sacrificed and what purpose that may have served, there is just no way of telling. Number 9. Camel Burials In the United Arab Emirates, archaeologists have found the ritual burials of camels at Mileha. Not just one or two, but dozens of ritual burials and even the remains of slaughtered horses. We know that in pre-Islamic Arabia, camels would oftentimes be dumped in the graves of their fallen masters. They were sometimes even sacrificed and buried beside whoever had ridden them in battle. But in this case, for the dozens of dead camels in Mileha, things are a bit creepier. Archaeologists were surprised because the camels were found in naturally resting positions. This means they had their legs folded under their bodies. The suggestion is that the camels were led into burial pits, forced to kneel down as if they were going to take a rest, and then they were slaughtered. There also weren't any human bones found alongside them, so they weren't killed to be sent along with masters to the afterlife. They were killed as part of a mysterious ritual that archaeologists don't know anything about. Number 8. Dog with a Bone The remains of three dogs from the Paleolithic era were discovered at Predmosti in the Czech Republic back in 2011. One of the dogs happened to have a bone in its mouth, a bone from a prehistoric mammoth. Not in the history of archaeology has an ancient dog ever been found still chewing on a mammoth bone thousands of years after its death. It's just not something you see, which is why researchers believe a human put the bone in the dog's mouth after it died. Besides just being creepy, the discovery does shed some light on human and dog activity over 10,000 years ago. It's believed the dog was probably a pet for whichever human decided to decorate it with mammoth bones after it died. This very well could have been near the beginning of dog domestication. The animal would have weighed just over 77 pounds. Extraordinarily large, right? Judging by the shape of its skull, it resembled a Siberian husky but was larger and heavier. Even 10,000 years ago, humans were apparently still giving their dogs bones as treats perhaps even as part of a burial rite. Number 7. A Medieval Mystery There is a creepy medieval mystery that goes back 700 years. In Poland, the remains of an ancient abandoned village were just discovered. The village is named Goschwitz, founded in the latter part of the 13th century by the Duke of Lovenberg, Bolko I the Strict. Historians say the land was originally owned by a noble family, then was purchased by the duke in hopes of turning it into a profit. The duke turned the piece of land into a farming village, but then it suddenly vanished. You can find mention of Goschwitz in physical records from Poland up until 50 years after it was built. That's when all record of the place suddenly vanished. In fact, it was at this time that the village itself disappeared. It was swallowed by the surrounding forest. All the old buildings and farms were completely grown over, and no one would lay eyes on it again for nearly 1,000 years. In fact, researchers had been searching for the village for the past 70 years with no success. It wasn't until new technology was developed that they finally had some luck. They only discovered the location because of airborne laser scanning. 
able to see subtle changes in the topography that people on the ground would never notice. We now know the physical size of the village and that it was home to around 20 farmhouses. The creepy part is that archaeologists still can't say why the village was abandoned. The whole place just emptied out overnight and nobody knows why. Some say the soil may have been poor, driving the farmers out. Others say the village may have been destroyed by an invading army. What do you think happened to this mysterious medieval city? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 6. An Irish Bog Body In Northern Ireland, the driver of a turf milling machine had to stop work in a bog when he came across a body. Both police and archaeologists were called in because the worker couldn't figure out if the corpse was fresh or if it had been stuck in the bog for hundreds of years. As it turns out, the human remains were 3,000 years old. The body was that of a woman, her head and torso stuck in a leather bag, and her legs left to rot in the peat. Experts from the National Museum of Ireland believe she was probably part of an ancient ritual sacrifice. The mysterious bog body was not the only thing found here in the last few years. People have also stumbled upon leather shoes, axe heads, and something called bog butter. Bog butter was an ancient method of making ordinary butter. Ancient people in Ireland and Great Britain preserved the butter inside bogs, which is where it gets its name. Some bog butters were made of dairy and others were made of meat. Sadly, nobody can say for sure who the woman was or why she was sacrificed. All we know is that she met a violent and probably extremely painful demise and was left in the bog alongside the forgotten batches of butter and lost leather shoes. Number 5. Secret Aztec Altar Archaeologists in Mexico City have discovered a secret altar constructed in the Aztec Empire's capital of Tenochtitlan. They found it in the courtyard of an old Aztec neighborhood with a pot that still contained ancient human ashes. According to the National Institute of Anthropology and History in Mexico, the altar dates to sometime between the years 1521 and 1610. This was during a time when the people living in the neighborhood would have literally bore witness to the end of their civilization. Even in the decades following the arrival of conquistador Hernán Cortés, Aztec residents continued to live in many parts of the conquered city. In this particular neighborhood, it appears that they took great care to hide the altar from the occupying Spanish. All evidence points to the Aztecs still trying to hold on to their culture and heritage while the Spanish were trying to erase it. Archaeologists also discovered incense burners and residue from a sacred fermented drink called pulque. It's hard to say exactly what was happening here, but the human ashes suggest the Aztec may have continued their practice of human sacrifice in secret. Number 4. The Scarlet Macaws of Chaco Canyon When scientists were excavating the Pueblo settlements in the Chaco Canyon in New Mexico back in the late 1890s, they had discovered a small collection of creepy bird skeletons. But it wasn't until recently that scientists were actually able to radiocarbon date the skeletons and get to the bottom of the mystery. Turns out they were scarlet macaws. But the problem here is that colorful tropical scarlet macaws come from tropical parts of Central America, yet they ended up hundreds of miles north in the ruins of a desert civilization in what is now the United States. Archaeologists wanted to know how this happened. Researchers with Pennsylvania State University used accelerator mass spectrometry to date the bird skeletons back to the year 800. What this suggests is that the Pueblo cultures of the New Mexican desert had relationships with cultures from Central America and Mexico. These desert people may have been trading with other civilizations hundreds of miles away, and for some reason, they seem to have been trading birds. The only thing that really makes sense is that the top members of society really enjoyed keeping the scarlet macaws as pets. Almost all the bird bones were found near burial sites of elites who lived in the great houses at Chaco Canyon. Number 3. Defleshing the Dead New information has revealed something absolutely terrifying about ancient Italy. 7,000 years ago, early Italian farmers practiced a very creepy burial ritual called defleshing. What this means is that when people died, the other villagers would flay the skin from their bones, pull their bones apart, and then sprinkle them with animal remains in a cave. 
According to the new research, the practice was probably meant as a way to keep the dead separated from the living. This terrifying revelation was made thanks to a team of researchers from the University of Cambridge. They examined bones from over 22 Neolithic humans, most of them children, who died over 7,000 years ago. They found the remains buried in a cave grotto in southeastern Italy. This has now turned into the first properly documented case of farmers actively stripping the flesh from dead people. It's quite a bizarre discovery for Italy since normally primitive farmers buried their dead loved ones either right beside their house or along the outskirts of their village. Why in the world they suddenly decided to start flaying dead people and mixing their bones with the bones of dead animals is a mystery. For some unexplained reason, they suddenly felt the need to disassemble the corpses and keep them as far away from their settlements as possible. Number 2. Wreck of the Last U.S. Slave Ship The wreckage of the very last United States slave ship has been discovered almost entirely intact on the coast of Alabama. The creepy wreckage is currently buried in mud, still in the exact same place it was when scuttled back in 1860. The wooden schooner is in almost perfect condition in the muck. It even has the cage still intact that was used for imprisoning Africans kidnapped and enslaved during the long and deadly trip across the Atlantic Ocean to the United States. The upper portions of the ship, called the Clotilda, are gone, but everything below deck is still in one piece. In fact, at least two-thirds of the ship are still around, leading researchers to wonder what kind of terrifying relics could still be sitting inside the cargo hold below the main deck. This was where they stored people for weeks and weeks, with no ventilation and often very little food and water. There could be human DNA still in the hull, and even the chains once used to bind the prisoners. The ship is off the coast in the Mobile Tensaw Delta, immaculately preserved thanks to the fresh water and mud. It was the very last ship that sailed from Alabama on illegal trips to purchase human beings in the decades following the outlawing of such trade by Congress in 1808. It wasn't until 1860 that the ship was finally destroyed and left at the bottom of the delta where it belonged. Number 1. Ancient Human Burial The earliest modern human female infant burial has been discovered in Europe. This young girl was buried in an Italian cave no more than eight months after she was born. She's been nicknamed Nev by archaeologists, who have been doing research for the past few years on who this young girl was and how she ended up in the cave. So far, archaeologists have been able to determine that she was a very real Homo sapiens, not a Neanderthal or some other human species. This makes her the oldest infant burial of her kind ever found in Europe dating back to about 10,000 years ago. Nobody knows what caused her death. She was found as nothing but a collection of tiny bones and seashell beads inside of a shroud. The talon of an eagle owl was placed near the child's shroud in the cave, likely as a gift. The discovery of baby bones wrapped in a cloth package might be a bit creepy, but the implications, meaning what the bones allowed scientists to discover, are quite fascinating. Because there was enough DNA for scientists to determine the bones belonged to a girl, they believe that in this ancient society, girls were treated the same as boys. This comes in part thanks to another ancient infant discovered buried in Alaska 11,500 years ago. This girl was also buried with care and with grave gifts. It's helping archaeologists to prove that about 10,000 years ago in populations across the planet, Male and female babies were treated exactly the same. It probably explains why there have been so many ancient graves of female rulers and warriors from the Bronze Age. It wasn't until a few thousand years ago that women started being treated differently in some cultures. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more incredible and creepy archaeological discoveries. See you next time. Bye!